Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to Him belong, they are weak, but He is strong. Today's Bible passage is the story of the Ascension from the book of Acts, chapter 1. The disciples were amazed. First, Jesus died. Then he rose from the dead. They watched closely. He looked normal, alive, human. Would he stay with them longer? Would he continue to teach and heal and perform miracles? Peter quietly wondered, can Jesus stay with us forever now? I don't think so, whispered John. But what will happen next, asked Matthew. I can tell you what happens next, said Jesus. Jesus smiled at his friends. You have been my disciples and my friends. You followed me, learned from me, and you have seen my healings and miracles. The disciples nodded. But soon you will have a new calling, Jesus explained. God's spirit will be on you. You will tell others the story of everything that has happened to us. You mean tell people about God's love, asked Matthew. And about the healings, asked John. And the miracles too, asked Peter. Yes, said Jesus. Share all those stories and tell about how I died and rose from the dead. Go all over the world. Tell everyone about me so they will follow me. Suddenly, Jesus was lifted up into the clouds. Up, up, up he went until the disciples couldn't see him anymore. They were shocked. Another amazing story about Jesus to tell the people. God's word coming to us. Thanks be to God. Hi, St. Paul. Welcome to Time with Children. Today's Bible story is found in the book of Acts and also in our gospel from Luke. And it's called the Ascension Story. Have you ever learned anything from someone else? Have you ever had anyone teach you something? I have a couple items that I wanna share with you that are symbols of things that I have been taught through the years. The first one is a choir piece that I helped sing a couple weeks ago for our church's YouTube service. Maybe you've seen me singing on there. Since I was little, I've really loved to sing but it was my parents and choir teachers and voice teachers who helped me really learn how to sing as a soloist and in choirs. And because of what they taught me, I've been able to bless others by being able to sing and worship and um, join choirs and be a part of a community in that way. The other thing I have here is just a couple of the books that I used when I was in seminary and grad school. A seminary is a school that ministers and pastors and people go to to learn more about the Bible and about God and about theology. And I was really blessed because I had wonderful teachers there. I had professors who taught me about how important it is to have a really authentic and loving Christian community and I had professors who taught me all about how wonderful God's grace is. And I had professors who helped me learn what all the big church words meant and things like the Apostles' Creed and the Lord's Prayer. I was able to explore a little bit more about their meaning because of these wonderful teachers. And I think moving forward, I've been able to bless others with what I've learned. And I've been able to help especially young people learn about faith and God and ask big questions and create a safe and great environment for people to explore their faith and learn more about God's amazing love. So today we hear about Jesus ascending and going up into heaven. And before Jesus ascends, we hear Jesus talking to his friends, the disciples, all about what they learned and what Jesus had taught them. That Jesus had taught them to love one another, that Jesus had taught them to share God's grace with all the world, right? And that Jesus taught them what it means to follow him. So Jesus tells them, I have taught you and now you go and teach others. 
share stories of our time together. Tell them about God's love and show them God's grace. So just like we learn things in our life, um, we learn, maybe you learn a sport or you learn something in school. There's lots of ways that we can take what we have learned and bless others with it, right? And Jesus is saying to, to the disciples that when you learn about God, you share that with others. And so we too are God's disciples, are Jesus' disciples. And so when we are active in church and we practice faith at home and we worship and we serve, those are all opportunities to learn more about God and about Jesus' love for us. And we learn those things so that we can share with the world all about the amazing love of Jesus, all about God's grace, and so that we can be instruments of peace and love, not just in our own home or our own church, but throughout our neighborhoods and throughout the world. So we're thankful that Jesus is our teacher and we reflect on what we learn through Jesus so that we can be disciples. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for teaching us about what it means to follow you. Help us to remember your love when times are hard. Give us strength to take everything that we learn and to share it with others, to share your love and carry your blessings into the world. Amen. Have a great week. As Jesus loves me.